Hey everybody, Big Anklevich here, podcaster, author, and carnivore, and it is day 54 of the Beef, Butter, Bacon, and Eggs Challenge that Marshall Latham and I are doing here on Big Anklevich on Health. Okay, before we head out to the daily videos, I just want to remind you that we've got a great Facebook group. Well, it could be great if you joined it anyways and, and participated in it. It would be awesome if we could all, you know, get to know each other and chat and support each other in our struggles to avoid the carbohydrates and to eat a proper human diet. And uh, we'd love to see you over there. So check the link down at the bottom uh, and go and join the Big Anklevich on Health Facebook group. We'll see you guys there. Now, on to the daily videos. It is day 54, and uh, today was kind of a crazy day. Um, I managed to get my food eaten before it got crazy, though, so that worked out. But I had to do things a little weird, because we moved, uh, or there's people coming today, people that came today to put in our new countertops for our kitchen, uh, which is something, oh, we've been waiting for. It's so nice that it's finally coming, but <laughs> we had to get everything out of there. And so even the little table that we have the electric frying pan and the air fryer on and the microwave, which was up on the bar, we had to pull that down, put that on the table, and take all of it and stuff it into my den. So I had to cook what was left of the chub of ground beef that I had um, on the frying pan in my den. And that's where I made my breakfast slash lunch slash dinner. It was all one meal. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I had today. Just a two and a half pounds, basically, of ground beef with salt and the grease that it came in. Um, and I ate that and I didn't take a picture of it. So I have no picture to prove that that's what the, I ate, but that's what I had today. And feeling good. Uh, it's a little crazy in here, um, but it'll be nice. So tomorrow our counters will be in and that will be wonderful. Well, it must be day 54 of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. And uh, yesterday, day 54, I when I got home from work, I cooked up uh, six scrambled eggs and uh, threw some of the hamburger that I had cooked up, about a half a pound of hamburger in there that I cooked up the other day. I have another about a half a pound that I need to use up soon. Uh, so yeah, combine that into a big pile of uh, hamburger and, and eggs. And then I also cooked up a pound of uh, bacon. I have a bunch of bacon left over uh, from when we were preparing those burritos. And uh, so, yeah, I'll eat them up. Don't, don't mind me. Uh, there, we have a bunch of extra eggs, too. So that's good. Uh, we'll definitely take care of those. And, yeah, so it was pretty basic. I ate that. It was a lot to eat. You know, usually for a meal, I would just have the eggs and the hamburger mixed together and call it good. But uh, I threw the bacon in there, and um, yeah, it tasted really good and filled me up quite a bit. Uh, so I don't know if I'll always eat that much for a single meal, but it doesn't hurt. You know, you're, especially eating one meal a day, it, it's really hard to overeat on uh, carnivore, let alone BBBE. So um, I don't know if the picture might look like there's not a lot of bacon on the plate, but uh, one of the tricks that I've learned in cooking the bacon in an air fryer, instead of just throwing everything in willy-nilly, they do it does cook better if it's lined up, but if you twist the, uh, the bacon together, kind of like a, I don't know, Twizzler, <laughs> if you, you have bacon Twizzlers, um, then they fit better. You can fit more of them in the bottom of the air fryer. It does, you do have to cook it a little extra longer because the middle parts that are in the twist um, don't cook up as, as much. So you have to cook it a little bit longer and that means the ends get really crunchy, but I like crunchy bacon. And so, 
Yeah, so that that's a little trick that I learned in doing air fryer bacon. And uh, yeah, I, th I think I took a second picture just to show you some of the the bacon Twizzlers, I guess is what I'm going to call them now. So yeah, that's that was that was a day of eating, and it was good. And uh, we'll see what I come up with tomorrow or today, I guess. But uh, yeah, all I can do is keep going. I don't know, Marshall, I was looking at that picture and that looks like a lot of bacon to me, to tell you the truth. Uh, but yeah, bacon Twizzlers, is it? That's uh, that's interesting. Um, I cook my bacon in the air fryer a different way uh, than you. I, I think that's kind of interesting uh, that we both use the same tool, but use it differently. What I do is I just you know, I, I peel my bacon apart so that it's not, you know, one big block, of course. But I just throw all the pieces down in there and uh, then I let them go for five minutes. I pull the tray out, stir it around a little bit, make sure that different parts are facing up, stick it back in. Give it five more minutes, pull it out, stir it around again, get everything, you know, facing differently so the different parts are facing out and then stick it back in. And then um, I uh, do it one more time. I think uh, generally it takes just under 20 minutes to cook bacon in the air fryer, which is longer than it used to take when I would do it in the oven. So maybe it's not the best way, but I do like the air fryer. It does taste pretty good. Uh, it comes out pretty well. And I have a tendency to forget my bacon in the oven. Of course, sometimes I forget it in the air fryer too. And there's nothing worse than absolutely decimating, which I've done a few times, a pound of bacon and just having to throw it out. It's really sad. Um, I'm one of those kind of tree huggery kind of guys, you know, like if I am going to eat um, bacon or any meat, the flesh of an animal, I am going to make sure to use it uh, 100%. You know, an animal gave its life for my food, and so I'm going to make sure that I honor that sacrifice and actually, uh, you know, use that meat appropriately to bring me health and to, to uh, you know, to, to make me happy. Um, and you know, I just feel that that's important. I don't want to waste it. It's not something that should be thrown out or, you know, dumped on the ground or uh, messed with or played around with. You know, it's it's something important. And so, gosh, there's nothing worse than ruining bacon. And, you know, also it's bacon. So it's like, you know, it's meat candy. It's the most wonderful thing out there. So, oh my gosh, how can I waste it? Don't want to do that. So, that's my feelings on bacon, everybody. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Big Anklevich on health.